Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Be In The Change. I'm gonna get started by reciting my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. I'd like to say welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time and welcome back to everybody who has seen me before and thank you so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm asking you to please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Or I'm also on Twitter, Instagram TV, and Facebook. So um, thank you so much for watching. I was talking last week about not wanting to rock the boat and, um, and how, how that was so hard for me. Um, but as time is going by and, you know, I realize the boat's going to get rocked whether I rock it or not. And if I want to get out, I have to rock the boat. And I'm now okay with that and I'm living in less fear now than I ever have and um, if you guys have seen me before I said last year I broke up with fear I broke up with shame and I broke up with guilt and it hasn't broken up with me but I can still be scared and do things and um, every time I do these videos I have no idea what's going to come out of my mouth my one girlfriend told me I'm channeling which I never even knew what that was. But after I film these, I have to go back and watch them to see what I said and if they make sense. So um, I think that's the channeling. Um, you know, I've been watching people for my entire life. And one of the things that I have learned about people is, um, you know, I always wanted everybody to like and love me. And I was always looking for permission and approval and acknowledgement outside of myself from others. And all the people that I was drawn to for this were not able to give this to me. And then it was an immediate rejection on there's something wrong with me. And I figured something out a couple weeks ago and it was like a great big aha moment for me. And um, you know, I've, ha I've been attracted to people who are comfortable making other people uncomfortable. And I always thought that it was my job to help them be comfortable. And I've learned it is not my job. But um, I had an event that happened to me last week with somebody who I realized is so uncomfortable in their own skin. And the only way for them to feel comfortable was to try to make me uncomfortable in my end. And that does not work on me anymore. And I am so grateful for that. I've worked so hard on myself and on my life to try and get better and be better. And I saw this thing on Facebook one day and it said, you're either getting bitter or you're getting better. And I, I want to get better. And um, being around people that make me feel worse about myself, they are not my soul tribe. And I am not willing to pay money for people to make me feel bad about myself. I can do it for free on my own. 
So um, learning how to stand up for myself is something that I have worked on and am continuing to work on. And it doesn't mean that these people don't still show up in my life, but they don't stay for nearly as long. And one of the great things about it is they don't want to be near me either. And that is such a compliment. And, um, you know, my son told me when I first was talking to him about I wanted to speak out loud, but I was afraid that I would have haters. And he told me I wasn't good enough to have haters. And I have haters. And I'm like, yes, it is such a compliment. And not that I go around trying to get people to hate me, but what I've learned is what other people think of me is none of my business. And if I offend somebody just by breathing or smiling or saying a remark or being myself, um, they're not the right people for me. So I, um, I am so grateful for all of you guys watching me and continuing on this journey with me. And thank you so much and stay tuned and I'll see y'all next week.